G'day guys, I'm your host and mate Lama Bull and welcome to another show uh, from myself, your host and mate. Um, a big shout out to all you guys out there. I've got now 54 subs valued subscribers and I absolutely love um, what you guys are doing for me and I really appreciate that, that you guys are enjoying my stuff and liking it and some of the, um, the amount of views I've been getting on some of my videos have been absolutely amazing and I hope I can continue this relationship with you guys and keep you guys in the loop with what's going on because I feel like it's really important. And uh, today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about uh, H1Z1. This is like an, a zombie apocalyptic uh, world that has been uh, brought, uh, I think, uh, PC. They've actually brought it to PC and is on Steam at the moment. So I think you can try it out right now, but I'm not too sure. I haven't done my research fully on that aspect. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is actually the... Um, I've got H1Z1. they got the, the Demi... the, 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 the E3 demo, sorry, uh, going um, on the back there so you guys can have a look at some uh, screenplay as well. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is I before you release this game, I want to make it clear of bringing it to the PS4 and some features that would really help you guys. And this is pretty much a wish list of what me and I reckon a lot of other people would love to see. A lot of PS Vita fans, a lot of PS4 fans, if this come game comes to the PS4, because obviously obviously Sony has got their hands deep in this project. Um, I don't know when it's coming out yet. I haven't seen a specific release date for it yet, but here's some things I just want to show you guys uh, first before it releases, and this is going to really help you help you guys out. Okay, guys, so first up, I want to talk to you guys a lot about the PlayStation 4. Um, this is m mainly remote play, so I'm going to skim over this a little bit. Um, but see this, guys? This is a PlayStation 4 remote play for the developers, uh, Jimmy Yu in particular, um, who is working on the project. This here is called a touchpad, and... I would really love this touchpad used more and more in your games. Um, I remember I was actually playing Destiny and you could use it to uh, um, touch it to bring up your ghosts and stuff, but I didn't actually, you couldn't actually, uh, you know, use it for much more than that. And I really had potential. And this game has so much potential for that because this has got crafting, this has got the, the world. Um, and I think it's this is an amazing platform for you guys to be working on because you can, uh, especially for its crafting system, I really think uh, for your crafting system, this would be the perfect accessory uh, to be able to drop and drag. I don't know, maybe to like, if you're at the, if you're at the menu, uh, you can just simply uh, tap the button, drag it across the screen, and then untap to equipped or unequipped. I think that would be really cool. But that's pretty much what I wanted to get across to you guys. Please use this, the touchpad, a bit more. I think it's a great accessory that Sony's brought in, and I think this game's going to excel if you guys bring in the touchpad and use all of the PS4's capabilities. And that leads me on to the second thing. This is more uh, remote play and more of a wish list. So I've got my PS Vita right here. Now this is the most <coughs> powerful little devices you guys could use. This is the remote play. It's worked a treat uh, with Destiny and a few other titles that I've had. I think you've seen them if you look down below. Uh, definitely uh, check them out. But more specifically, uh, the rear touchpad and the front touchpad. I feel like you guys could use this accessory so well. There were so many times in games that didn't allow me to uh, drop and drag or you know do things, and I automatically wanted to use those features on the Vita, which I couldn't use. I was getting frustrated. But if you guys could make it, so if I was going to play on remote play, if I'm at the crafting system, I just touch. I just touch here and there, boom, 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 and done, and I'm I'm there. You know that's what I felt like, um, especially going back to. Rem from remote play uh, to uh, going from remote play, sorry, to the PS4, I felt it uneasy. I wasn't having as much fun. I, I mean, I was still using the PS4 controller, yes, but I wasn't. Um, this is a lot quicker than the PS4 uh, controller, I feel, especially if you're throwing grenades or maybe you need a zoom. I think I can. it's easier just to touch the pad uh, with doing different actions than it actually is to hit a button. And as crazy as that sounds, that's, that's what I've enjoyed as well. Um, also, with this uh, um, using the D-pad as well, I was looking at... Uh, being able to run. Uh, some games haven't really, I think Killzone Mercenaries uh, was a PS Vita title. I think it did it very well by just being able to touch the uh, O button here. And if you tap, tap it, you could run. But I think also uh, Destiny were very clever as to use down on a D-pad. So you up, 
the finger goes up and you can pretty much push the button in straight away and i feel like that was so cool being able to do that because it made it so much easier and i said it's, i feel like it was easier to sprint doing that than actually pushing down the d-pad because you're busy doing other other things um yeah also guys i just wanted to mention also you can't leave home without this i'm going to bring this up in another video this here is a grip i've actually got this grip uh for six bucks off ebay you cannot leave home without this you cannot fight the fallen you can't go fighting zombies you can't be racing without one of these things especially me i've got big clumpy uh concrete as hands and it's easy it just clips in like this uh slip it up into place there it is, and then you click it down to lock, and the thing locks in, and I, I can take this uh, anywhere, and it's pretty, it, it, it's, it's, it's nice and stable there, you can see, um, she ain't going anywhere, and I can still use the rear touchpad, which is good for the L2 and R2, and um, I really think it's a good feature, because it gives you the comfort, it gives you that nice feel, the nice wraparound feel, see, without that, it, it when I was, I was playing Destiny and Black Flag and a few other titles, I was cramped. I didn't feel like I could totally use the, the Vita controller. I, I, like, the Vita is good, by the way, but this thing here, for six bucks, this is your most important asset. You can also pick ones up that have got, like, a charge ability, so these things have got charges in them, so you get another, you know, three, four hours life out of your PS Vita, which I think is so important, especially if you're not going to be home. You're going to be on holidays. You're not going to have your PS4 with you. I mean, you're not going to have it. You're going to have your PS4, but you don't have a TV. These grips are very, very important, and I think you're going to be able to enhance them games uh, even better with a uh, H1Z1. That code is actually the code uh, for swine flu, uh, which I thought was very interesting as well. So I'm kind of interested to see how this story is going to go, and uh, pretty much what's going to un unfold as well. I'm so interested in the crafting system. Obviously, you can see in third person and first person, so I guess it's going to be up to you. I hope they have, you can use third person and first person. You can see behind me the swarm of zombies coming at him right now. Uh, but I just hope you guys, um, it, I hope the mechanics are going to be great for this game, and I hope that the PS4 can really shine with this title because it has so much potential. And last but not least, guys, I wanted to bring this up. This is so important for developers. When you go to Remote Play PS4 Link, if you can see there, there is an option for a second screen. So not just having Remote Play, but also using the second screen. So using the Vita as a second screen like PC users do. So say if you're playing Battlefield or something, you would have the Vita sitting there and you could have the map up all well. Destiny didn't use that and I was kind of disappointed because the features there and able to do that. I'm hoping you guys can bring up the second screen and, and maybe enable um, the PS Vita users um, especially if they got a PS4, because uh, let's admit the sales of the Vita haven't been that great. And I really feel like if there's been 10 or 11 million copies of the of the PS4 sold, at least 8 or 9 million, in my view, should have the Vita. This thing is important. Because I really feel like the second screen um, will have a big part to play in the future in gaming, especially if you need that second screen. You don't want to bring up your ghosts. You don't want to bring up the crafting system. You can have the PS Vita right there um, and looking at your stats, looking at the map, looking, I know, I know that H1Z1 doesn't have a map because uh, I was actually watching the stream. They didn't have a map or something. Um, but I think this will be really cool, maybe for crafting there, if you want to see your inventory, just to have it there on charge, and you've got your second screen up, I think that would be the most important uh, thing you guys could use, and I think it would be really, really cool for us gamers um, to have that second sp second screen experience, like all the PC players um, have got, you know, they've got their two or three screens, you know, even if uh, Battlefield 4, you know, use, use more of the, of the second screen as well, that would be really cool. Um, but that's pretty much all I had to say, guys. I cannot wait for this title to come out. Uh, it's going to be one of the most funnest experiences, I think, if it comes to the PS4. I'm not sure on a release date. Go out and check out Google. Um, if you've got any comments or anything else that you think sh should be in there, definitely comment below and let me know because I'm so keen. I'm so excited on something like this. Um, and also, uh, it's just uh, so important for for us as gamers to have the second screen and the remote, remote play abilities and obviously no one knows about. I can't believe how many people don't know about the Vita or how many gamers don't know the actual capabilities and that's going to be what my, what my next video is about is actually 
We're going to push the Vita to its limits, and I'm going to show you what you can and cannot do with the Vita. So we're going to make it real flex in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a great week, and thank you all 54 my subscribers. You guys are the best, and make sure you keep in tune for the Llama Bull Show. See you guys. Bye.